Welcome to my channel. My name is Shibin. Today in this video we are discussing about uh, chilled water. Uh, we are discussing about chilled water, water quantity. How much water we required, chilled water we required for a um, uh, split unit or you know um, uh, or a ducted split unit or any kind of you know um, uh, for, for example a HU. How much quantity chilled water we required for that uh, particular machine? We have a one ton uh, AC is there. How much quantity is there? And what will be the pipe diameter? The you know incoming or uh, chilled water uh, inlet or outlet pipe diameter. What should be? This is what we are going to study about. For uh, make uh, for measuring the quantity of chilled water, there is a simple and simple easiest equation is there that I will show you. This is that equation. Q is equal to BTU divided by 500 into delta T. This is a very simple equation. You can see this one. Um, uh, BTU all you know British thermal unit. Uh, British uh, 12,000 uh, BTU is equal to 1 ton. And uh, Q is of course quantity of chilled water. Delta T means the uh, supply chilled water and the return temperature. Uh, supply uh, chilled water and the return chilled water. There is a temperature difference will be there. That is called uh, delta T. Delta T, if uh, it is more, it is um, that means the machine is machine uh, like uh, FCO is more efficient. This is what we are observing. If uh, supply temperature, for example, uh, uh, five degree or six degree Celsius, and the return is uh, you know seven or eight degree Celsius, that is small uh, you know two degrees Celsius only you know temp, uh, you know um, heat transfer uh, is happening. More than that, nothing is happening. So, of course, when uh, the designer is concerned about, you know, uh, delta T. Delta T is very, very important factor in uh, chilled water service. So, we will go through this equation once again. Uh, how, how much, for example, 110 AC, how much, uh, um, how much um, uh, chilled water we required, we will calculate right now. For example, as I told you, in this equation, BTU is equal to, uh, one uh, 12,000 BT is equal to one ton. So for one ton AC, we are very clear about one ton AC. How many uh, GPM means gallon per minute chilled water is required? We can calculate right now. Uh, I will write it uh, write it down here. In front of you, I will write it down. For example, you can see over here, right? I'll uh, turn the camera like that. You can see anything, right? Uh, I will write here 12,000 divided by 500 into delta t for example we are taking it 9 uh, normally 9 degree celsius is uh, getting delta t so when you are calculating you will get that 2.6 gpm to 2.6 gpm of water is required for uh, 1 ton ac this is what we are calculating. You can also calculate because I already calculated before. That's why I simply write it over there. Once you get the um, quantity of uh, you know chilled water, then it is very easy to determine the pipe size. For pipe sizing, uh, there is a, a very simple uh, software is available, pipe sizer. You just put the you know GPM. Uh, over there then automatically the pipe diameter will uh, mention over there or there is a, uh, a chart available from uh, Lesna Tubro company l &T. they made one uh, big uh, uh, schedule in that also you can uh, find out uh, what is the size of uh, chilled water pipe that I will show you right now in my desktop I will uh, show you this is my desktop actually here you can see over here and I will upload the same chart in my uh, uh, um, page also here you can see this is this is the half inch pipe is there I will zoom it in uh, I don't know how to zoom it I think you can see over here see half inch pipe means uh, 2 GPM maximum uh, flow is there and uh, you know tonnage of refrigeration you can see uh, 0 0.7 uh, tonnage of uh, refrigerant is there on you know this uh, 10 uh, delta t is 10 actually and the velocity is here already 1.9 feet per second 
velocity is there. This chart also you can use or you can use that uh, um, uh, I mean that uh, software also in the software it is very simple uh, wherever we can uh, carry that one. software once you put some uh, details automatically the pipe size will mentioned over there and also the you know accurate uh, velocity also it will come over there how to calculate velocity and how to calculate uh, BTU per hour that I will make it in another class how it should be uh, for uh, calculating this uh, BTU British uh, uh, thermal unit this uh, calculation we need uh, one software also for that uh, for that uh, calculation it is called a uh, HAP HAP, e, HAP, uh, HAP software is made by carrier you know a carrier uh, you know this is a big uh, air condition company uh, th those people they develop this uh, HAP software there is uh, so many versions is available uh, I have the latest one I will um, uh, upload that you know download link in this uh, under this video you can download and you can uh, try that one if you give all the like information uh, like about your uh, uh, for example one room you need to calculate how many BTU is required we can we need to put some information over there that I will make in another class uh, how to use HAP software so, uh, with that software accurately you can find out how many tonnage of refrigerant is uh, how many uh, you know ton of AC air condition is required for particular room or particular hall whatever it is you can um, that HAP software one advantage is that you know uh, for worldwide we can use it all country we, we can select that there is a temperature and there is you know some um, light uh, you know sunlight uh, directions everything we can select over there and uh, particular room any like uh, uh, what, what we call any heat generating equipment is there that we can mention over there uh, any additional heat generating uh, things is there we can mention over there how many people is occupied in this room that we can mention and uh, you know uh, how many and in the result we will get you know latent heat how much and uh, you know all everything we will help uh, sensible heat how much that everything we, uh, we can get it uh, we can uh, get it from there latent heat and sensible heat I will tell you what, what is the main difference very simple uh, thing is there latent heat, heat and uh, sensible heat latent heat means there should be a water content for example i am a human being uh, sitting in one room there will be a latent heat if one empty room there is nothing like even water you know even one glass water or nothing is there then the chances of latent heat very 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 less there is only you know humidity uh, is there that's only latent heat is coming only from the water sensible heat means the heat is generating like a light or a fan or some other heat generating you know iron box or a fridge refrigerator or a fridge uh, you know fridge outside it is a heat you know, of course or computer or laptop all these things will generate heat that we can sense that is called sensible heat that we can put a temperature um, uh, therm uh, thermometer over there and we can, we can measure it means it is called sensible heat latent heat means it is very hard to measure there is a equipment is there to measure the latent, latent heat but uh, it is very hard to measure that only will come from the water contents if the water things is there latent heat is there if no water there is no latent this is the very very simple uh, understanding so we already left from the matter actually where we are okay now the HAP software HAP software um, I will make another class how to calculate BTU how many BTU uh, how to calculate BTU we will uh, we will calculate over there once you get the BTU you can uh, get the ch uh, chilled water water quantity how many water quantity is required that we can calculate after that uh, from uh, this um, chilled water GPM this is very very important software after the chilled water B, uh, GPM you can use uh, you know pipe sizer uh, uh, chilled water pipe sizer is there software also if you put that um, um, things you will get automatically the pipe diameter and velocity everything you will get it so that you can make your design for the chilled water piping and all you can make the design again uh, how many uh, again uh, in the next class we will uh, discuss about you know for one ton AC what will be the 
CFM of air. For two ton AC, what will be the CFM of air? How many CFM is there for one uh, ton? There is some standard timetable is there, but it is, you know, while we are doing the chilled water design, this all things, the standard timetable will not work. Like one ton AC, some people will say, ah, oh, okay, one ton it should be 420 uh, feet um, you know, CFM. No, it is not exactly. For such kind of room, for example, uh, you know, uh, in the chill water, we can, uh, the design, it is, you know, we can uh, design it. For example, uh, the custom made units are there, it will be very uh, different. So, for, for example, I have a, when I am ordering the FC, one AC, uh, chilled water or uh, whatever AC I am ordering for from the customer, they will ask you two, three things. One is, what is the ESP, external static pressure, how much, if it is a directed split unit. Next one, they will ask, what is the CFO? They will ask, what is the, you know, 10, how many ton AC is required? These th three things and what is the um, uh, power uh, resource, three phase or single phase. This two, three inform information we need to give. For that, in the air side, this is water side actually, the chill water and, um, pipe diameter and all other things. When we are coming to the water side, uh, sorry, air side, uh, air side we have all these things like, you know, um, uh, air flow, uh, air quantity, CFM and our other blah, 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 everything we have. That we will go through in a, another class, how it should be. Uh, that I will explain to you one by one, uh, how much CFM is required for one machine. How we can simply calculate this one. That also I will explain to you in another classes. And uh, how to select one uh, uh, FCU, we can uh, determine how to select one FCU. How to sele select a correct FCU, I mean, so, you know, without any mistakes, uh, without any complication. For example, the FCU, the very big problem is that in the water side, water side is a big problem because once we decide the chill water pipe diameter, we cannot change it. Once we uh, erect this uh, piping in uh, at site or in a big building, Everything will close out because you know once the chill water pipe is installed and the testing is done automatically they will uh, clock, uh, block the block work everything they will finish it. It's very difficult to make a you know, big size or small size. We cannot change it. This is a problem. To make if we need to make the pipe diameter big it is you know double expensive actually. So the chill water pipe diameter selection should be very very important in HVAC services. This is we need to take care always. Uh, with you know we have we should have you know thumb rule and other things we have uh, all these things with the help of all these things we need to calculate uh, chill water pipe diameter so uh, in my further video you can uh, we can discuss about you know uh, air side also also in uh, we will uh, study about you know um, uh, psychrometric chart we will i will explain to you how to uh, use psychrometric chart all this information we will get from psychrometric chart because the psychrometric chart is simple uh, while you are looking it is a simple graph but there is a to use the hvac services uh, informations we will get even design information everything we will get from psychrometric chart psychrometric chart we can say it is a miracle it is such a huge thing is there we study i study the psychrometric chart around two days continuous class was there continuous from um, carrier, I got a training from carrier. Uh, I got you know two days continuous class from carrier regarding the psychrometric chart because it is huge you know huge things are there. We can get you know what should be the pipe diameter uh, for the you know there is a cooling oil will be there in the FCU that everything we can uh, find out from the what should be the temperature of cooling oil, what should be you know uh, after cooling oil what should be the temperature. Um, you know, everything we can uh, find out from this uh, psychrometric chart that I will explain to you in another, my another videos. So I, I will conclude this video. So today I think you study about you know uh, this thing Q is equal to BTU divided by 500 into delta T. It is very simple actually. You can find out the quantity of chill water uh, requirements for any FCU even though FCU, AHU whatever it is um, uh, fresh air whatever it should be this is the calculation so it is clear 
Thank you. Thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so that you will get uh, my another video directly in your mobile or uh, laptop or WhatsApp. It is. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.